Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Thursday, April 11th, around 4 p.m. Mountain Time 2024. The sun is ramping up and we could be seeing some interesting activity in the coming days as some active regions, as you can see here, are turning around the limb. Keep calm. It's boom time. Severe weather tornado risk shifts to the Atlantic coast to the Midwest on Thursday. Close to 75 million people will be at risk for severe weather on Thursday from parts of the Midwest to large portions of the Atlantic seaboard. The threat includes the possibility of a few tornadoes as tornado damage is reported near St. Augustine in Florida. Severe weather threat is shifting east. A tornado watch was issued until 3 p.m. today for parts of North and Central Florida, and there's a chance for a few tornadoes and scattered wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour that could cause damage. Flood watch issued for all of Ohio, storms and high winds, and this is through late Thursday night. Stormy Thursday night may bring severe thunderstorms and tornado watches to Virginia as well. You can see here... Full forecast in just a minute here. Two die after severe storms in Mississippi. Bad news there. Uh, according to the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency, MEMA, the second death was reported in Lefleur County, and the f two people have died. That's amazing. They don't say why here. And our hearts and thought, uh, prayers go out to those as a leaking levee in Mississippi as well forces evacuations in Yazoo County neighborhood. Wow, what is going on Can here? Lots need of to rain. To pump out the water from this lake over here, over here into this drainage ditch downhill. But um, let me tell you, in the past few hours that we've been here, we have seen the level of this lake drop significantly, which is good news. But right here, where we are pointing to, this is where the concern lies. It is very dangerous. They are not allowing any cars to go by this. That sounds like a good idea. No cars going by. Yeah, the road is blown out. And they're, speaking of blown out, huge hail across Texas. Uh, that's not some of the huge hail, but take a look at some of these pieces of ice falling from the sky. Looks like a happy face on that guy. And here we could see more large hail coming from central Texas just the other day. And it is spring, and a sudden hailstorm caused a million in damage to a Tennessee Ford dealership. There were nearly 200 vehicles exposed across the lot, and all of them suffered some type of damage. Wow, obviously you can see the hailstorm happening right there. And here's the forecast. Severe thunderstorms and heavy rainfall in the Ohio Valley, southeast, and the mid-Atlantic. Blizzard conditions in southwest Alaska. Can you imagine? Severe thunderstorms will shift into the Ohio Valley in the southeast and the mid-Atlantic today. The main threats will be a few tornadoes, isolated large hail, and damaging winds. Heavy rainfall will be possible from the southern central Appalachians to the northern mid-Atlantic with strong bearing storm continuing to push into southwest Alaska, producing blizzard conditions throughout the day. Let's take a look at some of those snowfall totals, but first... Let's take a look at that severe weather, and there it is on the East Coast. Drenching rain with the severe threat mostly down in the south. You can see some severe weather lingering over Ohio there, moving east into Pennsylvania through Friday and the weekend as the storm bombs out over the northeast. And another system moving into the west will bring some snow. So let's take a look at the total snowfall moving through the spring here. Here's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the weekend. A little bit of snow for New York from that wet system on the back end there. So you could see that as well as Vermont and New Hampshire as a system moves into California by Sunday. Here's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The system will now be in the Rockies, bringing snow to Colorado, heavy snow to some regions, multiple pulses here through next weekend. Here we're looking at Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And so heavy snow still for the Rockies through the end of April. Looks like most of the snow in New England is over. Uh, unless we look at this end of the long-term model there, but that would just be epic, wouldn't it? Seismic update. It is very quiet across the world. Take a look at that. Only one quake above 2.5 magnitude showing up, and it's a frack quake in Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus.
Worldwide Volcano News, Etna, small explosion overnight. You can see the peak there. Marapi puffing and passing to 12,000. Fuego to 15. Uh, do we have Marapi here, another 12,000-foot report today. Semaru to 15,000 feet. Reventador to 15,000 feet. Popo today to 19,000. Santa Huito to 13. Nevada de Ruiz puffing to 20,000 today. Ibu to 10,000. Fuego to 16. Ducono to 8. And that is a pretty normal day across the world as we head over to space weather for April 11th. As you can see, an uptick in the X-ray now in the C 5.5 range coming after an impulsive M 5.4 on the limb. And the limb meaning this incoming active region here. Let's take a look at the latest HMI intensity. And you can see these two sunspot regions are now growing as they move across the disk. And we've got active sunspot region moving in here and another plage over here. Take a look at the coronal hole analysis. You can see those active regions turning around. And that means increased space weather over the coming days. So buckle up. Hopefully we could get some aurora activity um, headed our way as solar activity increases. The three-day geomagnetic forecast is all quiet across the Western Front. Bad news, the rich are now getting second passports. So not only are they building bunkers, but they're getting passports to get out of Dodge, citing risk of instability. What does that mean? Well, Netanyahu is now hinting at retaliation if Iran attacks as CENTCOM chief lands in Israel, and it appears as if World War III has already begun. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. It's really good to be back. Rex Bear and I are back from our journey to Crow Canyon. Uh, and the, all of that amazing footage is going to take a while to edit. So hopefully tomorrow night we'll be able to put that up for you as we are going to be hosting an event there. If you are adventurous and adventure minded in a very short time. So stay tuned for those announcements Coming soon. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm and be safe. Anything is possible. Ding, ding.